Hi everyone, this is Donnie Lowy from CloseThatExplosion.com. I hope you're having a really good day today. So today I'd like to discuss with you how to flip wholesale deals. Now, if you've heard the term flipping by real estate, then you understand the idea is that they find a house, they either put a deposit down on the house or they f form some sort of a contract where it gives them the opportunity to flip it or they actually buy the house and then quickly look for an investor or someone who wants to move into the house and they flip it. The idea of flipping anything, whether it's a house, whether it's clothing, is that you quickly want to just move it. You don't want to hold it in your inventory. The you know, whole purpose of you buying it is just to quickly resell it at a profit. Might not be the the biggest profit that you might be able to make if you held it for a longer period of time, but you're you're looking to make quicker money, maybe need the money right then, or maybe that's just your way of doing business and you're counting on the fact that you're gonna, you know, find so many deals like this deal that you'll be able to make, you know, a lot more money, you know, over the long run as opposed to holding fewer deals, you know, for a longer period of time. Okay, so how do you flip a wholesale deal? The first thing you need to do is you have to actually find the wholesale deals to flip. Now, if you want to have a wholesale deal that's worth flipping, it has to be a deal that you can resell at a profit, right? And, but at the same time, it's at a price that the buyer is going to also be able to make a very good profit with. Because remember, you want to quickly move that deal. That's the idea about flipping the deal. So for example, if you buy a dress that retails for $100, right? And you have you know 50 of these dresses and you buy the dress at $50. So it's going to be harder to sell because the retailer now will have to sell that dress for $80, $90, and the retailer is going to have to think about whether he'll be able to sell all the 50 dresses, what if he only sells half of them, what if he sells 30 of them, right? He's going to, he's going to be more hesitant. But on the other hand, let's say you found a deal of dresses, you found the same 50 dresses, and they only cost you $20 each, and a retailer could potentially sell them for $100 each or $80, $90 each. If you were to flip that deal at $25 a dress, the retailer still has a very large potential margin where he or she can make money off, right? So in that case, the the buyer, right, the next buyer is going to be that much more encouraged to buy that deal. And you'll have a better opportunity to sell that deal, you know, at a fast pace. Right, so whenever you you have you want to flip a deal, make sure that the wholesale or close that lot that you're looking to buy, you can buy it at a low enough price that you can give it to the next person at also at a below wholesale price. All right, because that's what's going to really encourage them to quickly buy it so they could sell it. Because if you're able to give it to them only at the wholesale price, then look, they might as well buy their wholesale merchandise from another wholesaler. They don't need to, you know, act quickly and buy that deal from you. So first you want to find those deals. Now, how do you find those deals? Well, I would recommend that you go to close out warehouses. And the reason is because at a close out warehouse, such as my warehouse or other, you know, it could be other people's close out warehouses, those warehouses are going to specialize in special opportunity close out buys. In other words, they're going to find merchandise from stores that went out of business, from wholesalers that have surplus inventory, from department stores that want to move out their overstock. So the, the close out warehouses themselves, like my warehouse, we're buying the merchandise at a below wholesale price that allows us to sell the merchandise also at a below wholesale price. But if you just go to a wholesaler, then he's, he or she's going to sell you that merchandise at the regular wholesale price. That's not going to allow you to buy that deal low enough so you could flip it. Now, you could, don't have to go you know, just to a closeout warehouse. You could go to a brand directly. Find it if they have any merchandise from a previous season. Go to an importer. Maybe the importer brought merchandise into your market, which the importer cannot sell. And now you make a below wholesale offer for that merchandise. You buy low enough. Now you're able to flip it. Now, assuming you find that merchandise, how do you actually flip it? So you have a few different ways. You could list it on eBay for sale. You could list it on Craigslist. You can call stores. You can go to a flea market. You can set up you know, a, a one-day pop-up shop where people come to you know, look at the merchandise. But the key is you want to flip the whole deal. So whether it's a pop-up shop, whether it's you know a flea market, but you want to you want to make it very clear that you want to sell that merchandise as a lot. Now you might think at a flea market people are only looking to buy you know individually. No, because if you go to a flea market and you really have a below wholesale price, and then you walk around and you tell the other 
flea market vendors that look right here in my booth you can come see my merchandise i have 50 dresses which i'm selling at at 50 percent off below the wholesale price they're going to be encouraged to buy it let's say you have a fruit of the loom t-shirts which generally wholesale for let's just say for example a dollar twenty and now you bought them at 20 cents each as a closeout right now you want to flip the deal and you're going to bring all those t-shirts to the flea market you're going to have 20 boxes of t-shirts and you're going to you're willing to flip those t-shirts at 50 cents each right that's way below the wholesale price that other flea market vendors will pay for those t-shirts so when those flea market vendors come over to your spot and you tell them look you want to sell this whole deal right you want to flip this whole deal they're going to be very encouraged to buy that entire deal from you the same is true whether you sell on eBay, whether you call stores, you know, make it very clear that you have a great deal. You want to flip it and let them know that it's worthwhile for them to buy it because you're going to have the opportunity to buy it at below the wholesale price if they take the whole deal and let them know that these types of deals are not widely available in the marketplace, right? Because you yourself bought it as a closeout opportunity. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. My website is closeoutexplosion.com.